Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to sync content from a Google Sheet directly into your Figma designs using the CopyDoc plugin. Uh, so the first thing we need to do just to get started is jump into the Figma community and search for the term CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C and under the plugins tab uh, you'll see the result CopyDoc pop up. All you need to do is click on the install button on the right hand side and then you'll be ready to go. Uh, so today I'm just going to be using a really simple example of a movie app um, and I'm going to be syncing up some content from a Google Sheet that I've pre prepared um, and I'm going to show you how this works and how to structure the file for your own content. Um, so the first thing to note is that in your Google Sheet, so if you've um, got a go new Google Sheet set up, a new spreadsheet, um, the first row of that spreadsheet is basically your header row. Um, so the header row contains all of the labels for each of your columns and each of the rows in the columns are going to be used to populate our Figma layers in just a minute. Um, so the reason these are important uh, because they basically link up uh, the content of your spreadsheet with the content of your Figma file. So what I mean by that is you can see here we've got one uh, column called title. So we've got hashtag title. And if we look in our Figma file and look at our little movie poster here, you can see that this layer name is also named uh, hashtag title. Same thing here, we've got hashtag min for the minutes um, and we've also got an image layer uh, of a poster and that's been named hashtag poster. So if we jump back into our spreadsheet in Google Sheets, you can see here we've got a poster column and e each of those rows in the poster column are linking to an image online. So what this means is it's gonna basically map those layers together once we sync up the content in just a minute. Um, if you do want to know how I got those images in there as well, you'll basically need to get your own images online or you can do something like a simple Google search. Um, so for example, if I wanted to add a new record or new row for the Suicide Squad movie, I would just Google that poster, right click on the image, go down to copy image address in my right click menu, click on that and back in your spreadsheet, you basically want to paste that in there and that's going to paste the image URL. So as long as it's an image URL and as long as the um, layer in Figma is also an image layer or a frame layer or anything that can have an image fill, um, the plugin in a minute will automatically sync that together, which will uh, will go through shortly. Um, so then you can just fill out the rest of your row as you as you uh, normally would, um, and we can just populate these other ones really quickly as well. So we can do a review layer. Um, just put the genre in there and then we'll do a rating as well. Okay, so this spreadsheet is perfect now. It's uh, ready to go. So this is the exact same structure you'll need to use for yours. Um, so now what we need to do is basically get this data into Figma. And the way we do that is just by clicking on the share button in Google Sheets. And at the moment it's set to restricted. Um, but for this to work, we basically need to change this permission under the get link heading. So just click on that. And that's going to bring up this little drop down here. So you want to change the restricted option to anyone with the link. So click on anyone with the link. That's just going to update the permissions. And now you can go ahead and click on the copy link button. So I'm going to click on that now. It's copied this share link for me. So I can close that off. And now we can go back in the plugin and finally run the, the uh, back in Figma and run the plugin. So if we just right click anywhere on the Figma canvas, go down to plugins, click on copy doc. Uh, and that's going to run the plugin that we just installed a minute ago. And in this tutorial, I'm not going to be covering any of the other features of the plugin. I'm just going to be looking at this new sync spreadsheet content feature. So we can open that up by clicking on the sync content button here. So I'm going to do that now. And we're not going to be looking at the CSV or XLXXS uh, file upload today. We're just going to be looking at the sync public Google Sheet feature. So down here, we've just copied our Figma, uh, sorry, Google Sheets link. Um, so in our Figma plugin, I'm just gonna click on this input, paste the plugin that I just shared, uh, copied. And you can see here, it's loaded in our spreadsheet columns from the Google Sheet. Um, so that's pasted it in. It's saying that it's a valid Google Sheet URL. Um, so that's all good to go. And we can see a preview right here. Um, so the next thing we need to do is just make sure that we've created uh, enough of these posters that we want to actually populate. So I've got my component here. Again, you don't have to use a component. You can use a frame or a, you know, a group or any, any kind of layer like that. In my case, I'm just going to create three instances of the component. 
and I'm going to copy and paste those on my canvas and just move them around. And because they're instances, the layer names in those instances are also um, matching the headers from the Google Sheet as well. So that's perfect. That's exactly uh, what we want it to do. So now all we need to do is click on those uh, four layers. So I've got the component selected and the three instances. And now that I've got those selected, I can go back to my plugin and I can click on this button called Sync Spreadsheet Rows with Figma Layers. And it's telling me I've got four layers selected. So I'm gonna click on that now. And this is basically gonna start mapping our content together. So it's downloading the images that we specified in our Google Sheet. Um, so it's going through and downloading each of those um, in high resolution. And now it's gonna sync up the content uh, text, text wise and image wise with those layers. So you can see it's finished, it's updated 24 layers uh, automatically. And that's pulled in all of the content from our Google Sheet uh, directly into our Figma layers. So we didn't have to do any manual copy pasting. We didn't have to do any manual, you know, dragging and dropping of images. Um, it automatically populated that for us based on whatever we had put in our uh, Google Sheet. Um, so just to double check that, we can go back into our sheet and you can see here it's gone row, uh, row by row. So we've got two, three, four, and five. And basically for each of the layers that we had selected, it'll loop through those selected layers and, and just swap out any layers that it finds with those matching uh, layer, layer names. Um, so that's exactly what it's done. As you can see it swapped out the tags, it swapped out the titles, it swapped out the reviews, and um, we've got all of our posters downloaded looking extremely sharp um, and swapped out without us having to do anything. Um, so that's how it works. That's that's the basic concept. You could use this um, to populate lists, to populate grids. Um, you can use it for uh, small screens, large screens. You could run it on a whole file if you felt like it. Um, it's a really powerful tool for automatically populating uh, Figma content directly from a Google Sheet, um, Google spreadsheet. Um, and you can just basically use this format to, to uh, yeah, populate any kind of content that you want. Um, depending on what your use case is and yeah, as many rows as you want to put in and as many rows as you want to uh, copy and paste in your file. Um, it's really up to you to decide how you go about using it. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. This is a brand new feature, um, something that we've been wanting to ship for a little while. So very happy to get it, get it out there and um, available for you to use in your own projects. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you've been wondering how to sync up content from a Google Sheet, um, this, is, this is a really easy way to go about it. Um, so yeah, feel free to give it a go with your own team or in your own projects. And uh, yeah, thank you as always for watching. And we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one very shortly.